Moving to West Asia now, massive demonstrations were held on the streets of Tel Aviv and around Israel as thousands of protesters voiced anger and frustration against the Israeli government. <laughs> They urged Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to do more to secure the release of hostages still held in Gaza instead of trading blows with Iran-backed Hezbollah. Protesters demanded that the Netanyahu government sign the ceasefire deal as it was. Many called for the government to go. And uh, I'm very worried. And uh, there is a very, very big sadness, cloud of sadness about me, above me. It's a long time. Tell you the truth, when I'm eating a fruit at home, I feel so sort of, you know, shame when I think about the people in the in the tunnels. It's unbelievable. So I, I it's like a nightmare. Government, do this deal, make this deal happen, a any price, whatever needs. Stop the war, bring them back. Families of the hostages have voiced their concerns over the exchange of fire between Israel and Hezbollah in recent days. After 39 people were killed and thousands wounded when pagers and walkie-talkies used by the group's members exploded. They say that the escalation along the Israel-Lebanese border leaves captives in Gaza at more risk. <laughs> Netanyahu, you do not have the mandate to abandon them in Hamas death tunnels under the cover of this new war in the north. For months we have warned about Netanyahu's sabotage and of him torpedoing and stalling the hostage deal deliberately. Now everyone can see this is what he is doing. Israeli jets carried out fresh strikes in South Lebanon on Saturday night, claiming they had struck several Hezbollah targets. Alerts have been issued in high fine surrounding areas in Israel, expecting fresh fire from the Hezbollah. Now, this acid awaits the revenge promised by Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Israeli said its fighter jets have struck about 290 locations in southern Lebanon since Saturday afternoon. Now, meanwhile, Lebanon's caretaker, Minister of Public Works and Transport, Ali Hamie, visited scenes of an Israeli strike in Beirut that killed top Hezbollah commander Ibrahim Akil and other senior figures of the group. Speaking to the media there, he said Israel is taking the region to war. Now, Israeli strikes in Lebanon is drawing global condemnation. Turkey, Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has said that Israel was not acting like a state but a terrorist group. Jordan has issued a warning to its citizens advising against travel to Lebanon because of the continuing Israeli strikes. The country's foreign ministry has urged Jordanians currently in Lebanon to leave the country. Many other countries, including the United States and the UK, have updated their travel advisory to recommend caution and to avoid all travel to Lebanon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm